Frank, we're back. Welcome back to Approved for All Audiences. It is freezing in here, so you're going to see a lot of smoke and shit out of our mouths. It's cold. It's cold. Uh, woke up with snow on the ground for the first time this year. That's been exciting. Uh, just Yay. a little dusting, but it's currently 38 degrees, and the garage might be 34 degrees. It's fucking cold. So if you hear a little hissing in the back, we don't want to die. So we are the heat going. We got the heat going and blowing. So if you're new to this show, like we are, so you probably are as well, we're just a couple of Joes talking about movies. And, uh, yeah, we're just talking about an Oscar winner. We're critiquing art. Several times over. Five. Five, five awards? I wrote that shit down somewhere. It, was an, it was a surprising uh, Oscar, but you said a ton uh, of Five awards. Oscars, overall 40. 40 awards. Uh, how? I don't know. Uh, decent movie, fun movie. Uh, do you want to get into the synopsis there, Chief? Yeah, so uh, the movie we're talking about today, uh, we touched on it last week, was American Beauty. Uh, this is a 1999 romance comedy that also sometimes feels like not a romance comedy. Um, don't know if I completely agree with that description. It has an 8.3 out of 10 on IMDb, an 87% on Rotten Tomatoes, wow, and a 4 out of 5 on Letterboxd. I don't know what the third one that they always is. Um, this is starring Kevin Spacey, and the synopsis says a telltale's operative becomes disillusioned with his existence and begins to hunger for fresh excitement in his life. As he experiences a new awakening of the senses, his wife and daughter also undergo changes that seriously affect their family. Critically acclaimed, this film won Oscars for Best Screenplay, Best Director, Best Actor, and Best Film. Holy shit! It won wow. everything! All the things. And there's another... I guess we'll call it a conglomerate. Uh, it's like BFPC gay. I, don't, I forget what it's called. But that won like 25. No, more than that. Because it won 40 overall. Crazy. Like Fine that. film. Not the why. Well, wait. What was the other one that won? What's the BC F thing? So there was like two tiers on the link that I was looking at. And it was Oscars, which was five. Yeah. I misquoted last week. Sorry, guys. I said 17 or some shit like that. It was five. Five is still a hell of a sweep. It won all the big ones. It won all <laughs> the stuff and all the things. Uh, but I, yeah, it was like some film fest or some shit, which is weird. Because oh, it's so like a Hollywood fucking release. It's not like a Sundance. Gotcha. So it was a film festival. That won. It was a, like a film festy fucking thing. Um, yeah. So let's get into it, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. So, opening scenes, uh, it starts with Kevin Spacey, uh, and he, he's, like, narrating it, and mm -hmm. this is the second time I watched it, uh, and I liked it a lot more this time, surprisingly, uh, he narrates it by saying, basically, hey, I'm gonna die. <laughs> right, <laughs> which, right, right. Which I didn't, I didn't pick up on the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he tells you right off the bat. He's like, right off the bat, like, hey, uh, I didn't know I was gonna, like, die tomorrow, and then... Yeah, so it's kind of the chronological order of, of the days leading up to his death. Yeah. Um, anything you want to add to that? Sorry, I'm a little spaced here. No, you're good. You're. Uh, I didn't bring my notes from the opening, um, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm going to have to go off of your chronological my notes, shit -dick notes and yes. try and remember exactly what happened. I watched it uh, last night after too many beers, and then I finished it this morning. We all know about too many beers, brother. I finished it this morning, so... Yeah, so this might be a little little scared rude, uh, <laughs> which is sad because this is my second viewing in, like, less than a year. Okay, I, I think... Yeah, well, this is my first time. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Foreshadowing! Oh, t yeah, okay. Oh, man, there's so much to get into. Oh, I mean... Go ahead. Well, no, I could just... So, I think one thing also is, if you haven't seen it before, my first initial, at the beginning thought was like oh this is going to be like which is not totally true but i thought it was going to be like office space in the suburbs like dude hates his job stops giving a fuck what happens next right and that's part of it yeah uh we gotta keep it chronological here because there's probably a, a bunch of folks that have not seen this film 1999 yeah 99 uh so angela do you remember her name off the top of your head like in real life she was did... she the blonde or was she janie uh the blonde Angela. I forget her, her, her actual name. Yeah, it's also like an Mar American pie. Yeah, yeah, that's two back to back Americas, folks. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Uh so like what are we saying about America in ninety nine? We're just fucking hell bent on teenage sex? Hey, teenagers I mean 
It was a, well, one ninety nine, dude. The world was fucking in the palm. Of, like I like, remember seeing this movie poster, uh, like on the side of Hollywood Video, and remember like wondering what the hell it was because it was just like the naked lady with the uh, roses. Yeah, yeah. Who I thought was a lady, but she's nineteen. Yeah, I guess that's a lady, but like probably shouldn't shouldn't do anything about that. It was it was your was your wean dog there? Uh, <laughs> And somebody does almost, almost. Oh, oh. frick! She, Spoilers. She, there's a few people in that that like for that time frame of the late '90s and the early 2000s are just like maybe it's just because she was also in American Pie. I guess I couldn't name three other things she was in, but I just feel like she was like if I saw her in a movie, I'm like, oh, that movie took place between the years of 1999 and 2003. Right. Yeah, she was she Mira was, something. I could find. Yeah, her. she's got a hell of a name. Mira Kulovic. But let's, let's, I, I take bad notes, guys. I'm sorry. So basically, uh, you get narration from Kevin Spacey and, uh, he introduces you to, to his neighborhood and, uh, <laughs> you get introduced uh, to his gay neighbors. And I, I thought Kevin Spacey was so oh, that's like right. kind of robotic, uh, in this, like he's, he's supposed to be kind of like a nineties sarcastic fucking dickhole, but I just, I just thought he was off putting like. Uh, maybe this movie hit a little too close to home for him. I think we're bringing that up a little too soon. Uh, what, did you come from a broken household? Dude. <laughs> Jesus were your, Christ. Were your parents in a sexless marriage? Yeah. Because <laughs> this film also hit home to me, Tim. Yeah. This was brutal. Yeah. This, this showed that life in the suburbs ain't always what it seems like. Yeah. Fucking. So we, we, we look, we, we find, we find the, the Gabers, and uh, they're fun. Uh, oh, what? One of the one of the, the gamers there. He's like, I want to say it's the guy from Quantum Leap. If any of you out there watch old TV with your father, you might know what I'm talking I'm about. Not brushed up on Quantum all right, Leap. all right, moving on here. Uh, they also this doesn't really matter, but I thought it was kind of bizarre. The, they're taking uh, what's her name, Jamie. Jamie's the daughter. Nice score one for me. Remembering the name. Oh yeah, good job. Um, they they show them all in one car. And so, like, I thought, like, huh, that's odd that they just have the one vehicle. Not that that matters. But then later down the road, he has, like, a piece of shit Camry that he, he later trades in for a, uh, a 1970 Trans Am. Pretty fucking cool. It was a, wasn't it a Firebird? Fuck! You're right. It I, was a Firebird. I don't know cars. Yeah! Very good. It was a Thunder Car. It was a Fire Dicks. Hey, speaking of, uh, and sorry, I'm going a little bit off of your notes here mm -hmm. for just a moment. Uh, speaking of new cars, how was your new car buying experience oh, this weekend? Oh, yeah, me and the wife. I just want to hear about it because people have horror stories and I just want I know, it was great. I mean, uh, Google said that they were open at uh, 7 o'clock. They're not open at 7 o'clock. But there was like a 65-year-old man there who uh, who happened to just open the doors. Mm -hmm. He's like, I like to leave early. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, he helped us. <laughs> he's like, what can we do for you? And I was like, uh, we want to buy a car. He's like, oh, that's very forward. I was like, well... <laughs> Can we get it done, please? <laughs> Isn't this the place to make this transaction happen? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we just kind of went in there and... Uh, new wheels. New wheels, dude. Pretty dude. fucking cool. Can 2022. You... I would like to just make a really quick note about uh, Tim's vehicles because I, I, I want to get back into the movie. But they, Tim has a... What year is your Scion? My Scion is a 2008 Scion XB. It's a 2008 Scion XB Thunderbird. And <laughs> they just got a 2022 black version of that. And Basically. Tim, and Tim's, he has he put in this fucking screen. And you can play video games in there now, right? Well, not yet. Uh, okay. But eventually you will be able to full on I've play Street like Fighter in your car. i for like 2004 for some reason. Uh, so... I've been buying video games, and I don't even, like, play video games. I just I just think they're interesting. So I bought a, uh, a PS2 uh, at a garage sale for $5, and then I bought, like, a two ter or a one-terabyte hard drive. And, uh, yeah, I loaded a bunch of games on it that I don't play. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun! It's fun. It's fun, and it's useless. But, yeah, that's going to go on the old Scion for absolutely no reason. Hey, it's a cool thing in your car, and if anybody out there knows anybody that's looking to soup up their 2008 XP Thunderbird T, <laughs> you're the guy, T. Yeah, it's a good time. It's fucking sweet, though, for watching YouTube videos when you drive. Oh, is that right? Well, I, While I, you're driving? I work in Portland, so I get stuck in traffic. So, you know, I crack, crack open uh, iced tea and 
And just watch some YouTubes there, there, bud. You could have watched American Beauty on here. Could have watched the Buttes, but I did not watch the Buttes. Um, I should probably get back into this movie mm -hmm, film mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, initially, and again, I've watched this before. I said, uh, it's kind of funny, like, they have this gorgeous home when he's a telemarketer. Yeah. And then later you find out he's not a telemarketer. He works for a magazine. Right. Uh, but they don't, they don't really tell you that. Like, that's, that's exactly what you think when you see him in his office because he's just like, He's getting a call. It sounds like he's doing telesales. Like he's trying yeah. to sell the magazine over a phone. Totally. But, yeah, it seems like he's just a telemarketer. So their house is gorgeous and huge. 99, man. 99, baby. People could just have cool shit at reasonable prices. Totally. Yeah, and his salary is like 60000 Yeah, and he, like, oh, that's a whole nother, we'll probably get into that in a minute. That's but. a whole nother cup of beans there. <laughs> yeah, 60000 Dude, 99, that's big time money. Well, I guess we could get into that. So he basically blackmails uh, his boss. And it's like, hey, fucking high, high ups, they're paying uh, hookers. Why am I doing this voice again? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to be a wise guy? Yeah. But he also has that sarcastic, fucking shitty attitude in that. I think what he's going for is that, like, he all of his, he gives no more fucks, right? He's like, doesn't care. So anything he says and his Kevin Spacey way of saying it right. is final. Yeah. It just still it felt. Tone deaf almost, which I think is what you're supposed to kind of get from it. But <laughs> <laughs> I think that's kind of what you're supposed yeah, to get, you get from I, it. I wish there was like a little bit more. I don't know. I'm a douchebag. Okay, what's the what's the maddest you've ever been at work? <laughs> Pretty fucking mad, dude. I I get real one word responsy when they piss me off at work. Not that I have any problems at work. That's a different podcast. Um. <laughs> <laughs> But I get, I get, not that Kevin Spacey did the same thing, but I think when, if I just didn't give a fuck and I knew I was quitting, I would probably just be like, hey, eat a dick. And he Thank basically you. does tell him to eat said dick. Uh, and the moral of the story, well, of this scene is that uh, he does get the $60,000 and uh, the one year medical. And uh, moving on from there... I wish I could read my own handwriting. <laughs> Dude, I scribble when I'm watching this. Oh, show. I thought there was maybe a little Easter egg there. Uh, in his cubicle, there's a sticker that says, look closer. Because kind of the, the theme of it is like, life is more than just like how you're living it. Oh. Ah, a little douchey, buddy. Maybe that's a little there's something there. Some beneath the surface a little beneath bit. the skin. Yeah, that is definitely, that whole movie's kind of like everybody's got some like deeper shit going on. Yeah, than just which like... like Here's a little it's, suburban America, but there's more. It smells of Oscar when they, they do shit like that. Like, oh, no, we can't get into the end yet, but the end, Jesus, Murph. Uh, Were you half chubbed the whole time at the end there? Was I half chubbed? Half chubbed. Because of all the gay stuff? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's going to get right into the end. Okay, We're all right. Jumping. I have three pages of useless notes. These here. are not useless, Tim. Um, Respect your notes. Oh, Kevin. Uh, see, I also do this shit, which is like, not helpful to me. I jump from Lester, who is Kevin Spacey, right. to Kevin. So, like, going through this, it's like, wait, who's Kevin? Oh, fuck, it's Kevin Spacey, who, in fact, is Lester. Lester is Kevin. Lester, Kevin is Lester. Initially, I was like, that's a fucking shit name. You can pick any name, but he's kind of a fucking piece of shit. Is he? Dude, I just supposed to root for him, but yeah. I feel like you're just kind of like, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I guess he's not the most redeeming character of all time. He's not very nice to his daughter. His wife seems like she sucks, though. I, she was my favorite actor. What? Like Chris, yeah. The wife? Yeah. Dude, uh, subtle shout out to an actress in that movie who probably doesn't get any. Allison Janney, the wife of the retired... Well, have we talked about the next door neighbor... Frank and uh, uh, Riley, the, Riley the kid, yeah. and then his dad, the military dad. No, we haven't. We haven't got there yet. No. Okay. Well. Okay. So the neighbor moves in. Uh, young kid from a military background with a military dad. We'll talk more about that. But the the actress that plays his wife, and I only know this because when I pause on my TV, it shows me everything. Allison Janney has about twelve lines in that whole movie, but her deadpan look of being dead inside, married to this piece of shit, you was like that? it just it just felt like. I felt like without her acting that much, she was acting really well about how... Not, I'm talking about the, the military guys. Right, 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 right. How she's just sitting there looking fucking miserable. I thought I was she like, oh. was useless. Well, she, like, was showing how miserable, like, that life was. I suppose. I'm a cunt. But I was like, why... But she's so, like... They never show 
uh, fucking uh, old what's his bones. I forget. His, I wrote all this shit down. I can't remember anything. Uh, he's an actor, you know. Is Sorry, it the, is the military dad? Yeah, military Frank. Chris Cooper. Chris Cooper. Yay. Uh, they never show him being like abusive to her. But she's like, isn't it she implied is so a little distraught. with like how quickly he goes to punching his kid every time he does something? That he well, like? yeah, it's because he thinks his kid is gay, but somebody else in the house is. Yeah, but he also beat him up for like they had to put him into a mental hospital for two years for like yeah, selling a little bit maybe of dough. He wants to bang his kid. You're you. I see. I didn't find any redeeming things about the fucking military dad. Well, I didn't like him piece either. Of shit. But I thought. Uh, I don't know. I, 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 thought, <laughs> I thought that was a big. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I mean, there's... I guess all my point was, is like, yeah, was she instrumental to the movie? No. But I thought she did a good job of, like, sitting there at that kitchen when she when he brings the neighbor over for the first time. And she's like, hey, mom, this is Janie. And she's just fucking dead inside. Sorry. Holy shit, the neighbors. When the gabers come over, dude? Yeah. And uh, he's like, hey, this is my partner. I forget his name now. And he's like, ah, so what's your business? And he's like, he's a lawyer. I'm an accountant. He's like, well, you said y'all are partners. <laughs> that, that oh, was, yeah. That was premium, premium gay joke. He's, yeah, that the military dad's Chris Cooper, who's, I don't remember the character's name. He's just afraid Frank. that every, Frank, Frank is terrified that everybody around him is wanting to suck dick. Because, in fact, <laughs> he would like to suck some cock. You think so? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay, interesting. I wasn't sure. I, I was out on that a little bit. <laughs> I was out on that. <laughs> yep. uh, I wasn't sure. I, I I thought he was doing Initially, it. Initially? Like you didn't? Well, see, th th this is getting to the, yeah, the end again. Yeah, we're jumping around I, You should make a note of that because I want to touch bases. I don't, I'm not 100% sure that if I think he was secretly gay and I've got some... What? Some chase thought. Okay, well then... Well, without let's, let's get to the game well, this year. Okay. I thought he was going over there because he thought his son was lying to him. And so he goes over there because he's pissed off that he... Let's pump the brakes. So Frank sees Kevin Space uh, buying weed from uh, Riley, his son. And for a, a, Okay, we haven't even gotten into Riley. He's a fucking weirdo. Yeah. He, is, yeah. he, he fucking... He, he tapes dead shit, and he has just an assembly of, like, audio tapes and videotapes. And it's, it's bonkers how much shit this kid has. Uh, so fucking uh, Kevin Space and Riley... Lester and Riley, sorry. Nice. Uh, they uh, they become friends at a like because uh, Lester's wife, I forget her name now. Sorry. Uh, they go to a uh, what do you call it? She's a real estate agent, so they go to like a real estate agent function. Oh yeah. And uh, Riley <laughs> is uh, like a busboy there. Yeah. But it's just like his cover gig because he also sells pot. For lots for weird amounts of money. <laughs> <laughs> <Lord>. <laughs> Dude. Like, so they show an ounce. So we're bouncing around here, but they show an sorry. ounce. 300 bucks. I'm like, yeah, okay. I mean, I'm not a, r a real big pot guy, but I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. 99. Really... That seems cheap, 99. And uh, then he shows him like an eighth of government weed. And he's like, two grand. It's the good shit. I'm doing the weird voice again. Hey, it was good uh, shit. It was good shit. Yo, so this shit'll he... make your voice change, kid. <laughs> <laughs> so old case space is like, yeah, I don't have a job. <laughs> I just bought a muscle car. Let's get fucking stoned. And I hate my wife. Yeah. Let's fucking buy a two thousand dollar eighth. Let's do that. Dude, so the son Riley is the kid of the military guy in Alice and Janney's character. They move next door. He's got a thing about he's definitely like they don't go into it a ton, but he's definitely got some fucking not everything's right with him. Like he's got some trauma or some shit. Like he got right. They go up. into it a little bit that that uh, he was put into a mental ho uh, institution, hospital, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Wasn't it because he like got caught smoking dope? Yes. Like, too many times. Yeah. Ninety nine, man. Ninety nine was a wild time. Wild time. Uh, fuck. What were we getting at here, though? Well, or originally we were talking about like, was Frank closet gay because Whoa. he comes in at the end. To kiss him, but I think that whole scene, I could be, and I could be. Now that I'm now, now that I review movies and people treat me differently on the streets, I might be digging a little too deep into this. But I was thinking there was a bunch of other shit going on there that he had already made up his mind that he was either going to kill his son or he was going to kill K Space, and then he's kissing him on the lips to see if Kevin Space is like, oh fuck yeah, like he actually is gay. So my son was telling the truth. Interesting. But, but that we can unpack that later, and I could be so well, far let's get wrong. There's a lot of stuff to unpack there, Jesus. Okay. Well, just uh, like my emotions and so movies, I like when to unpack. When they're in the car, uh, they bring up the old F A G word that you can't say anymore, and yeah. he says it like a bunch. 
Uh, and then his son is like, I don't have any respect for any of those. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Uh, and you can kind of see him like look at him like kind of distraughtly. Right. And then it moves on. And then, well, we're jumping way far ahead here. Yeah. Uh, w w Riley is kind of just a yes man with his dad. Uh, right. Just wants to. He just wants to get his beating and move the fuck on. He gets beat a couple times. And then at the end of his second, or I guess it'd be his third beating. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of Riley carnage. Uh, he he just says like, "Yeah, I am gay. I'm the best ass in town." Dude, his lines. That is like the only time in that whole movie that I liked Riley's character. Is yeah, he's like yeah, they Riley's said I'm the best. He's like, "I'm the best ass in the tri-state area." <laughs> Bang, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking suck this cork. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> suck oh, this cork. Boy. You ever see a lukewarm cork? Dude, the when when they do that, so he sees. Remember when the uh, the the gay couple next door is jogging down the street and Kevin Spacey joins them? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the first thing that popped in my head was whenever I hear a story about Chris DiStefano talking about his dad. Yeah. What is the fucking gay variety? Gay variety <laughs> parade? Yeah. It's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> so now that we're talking about all those little quips he makes about that, yeah. maybe he is just super gay and afraid I of that. I think he's and super that's gay. He's... And he's he's really afraid of it. Oh. And uh, he it was a last ditch effort that uh, he's like, I, I did write this down. Uh, oh, maybe if K Space accepted him with that kiss, it would yeah. validate. What did I movies, write? Dude. I remember being like, "You should remember this." <laughs> you wrote, "You should remember this." Uh, fuck, there's so many. My handwriting is so terrible. Basically, I wrote down. Uh, so, uh, anybody that's gay wants to bang anyone else that's gay. So, <laughs> so fucking Frank is like, "Oh my god, the neighbor's gay. I could fuck the gay neighbor. That's great." Sure. But, like, what if the gay neighbor, Kevin Spacey, doesn't want to bang you, you fucking idiot? Like, you can't... That, it's like, oh... Is there, is there a choice in that community? <laughs> That's, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm just joking. Definitely. I know. It's so... I mean, it's 99. So it's like, if I have cats and you have cats, we should be cat friends. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that fucking works. Hey, don't you kiss butthole? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they That's really... That's a good point. That's, this is... Man... That's movies. That's good. Because I was digging probably deeper than I needed to. Yeah. But all that gay bashing he does is a pretty, like... Oh, well, it's a defense wall. You know, he's like, ah, shit. It's like most of our politicians. <laughs> okay, let's not go there. But, uh... Yeah. Okay, that's hit, my... That's, hit me with it. That's my fault for j trying to jump into the... That's, like, towards the end of the movie. Let's, let's, let's course correct here a little bit, so... I'm also switching scenes manually, so if this gets crazy jumpy, lo siento, mi amigos. Um... Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, so so we talked about they go, he quits his job. They go to this, um, what is it, like mm. a realtor ball? Let's that pause Let's pause the quit job thing. Um, me as a, a five-year veteran of the fast food industry, Bang. I, I really liked, uh, he's talking to Riley. Um, he's like, man, when I was your age, I could never afford it. I worked a, a summer to buy an 8-track. He's like, fuck, that blows. He's like, no, it was awesome. We got fucked up and I got laid all the time. You can kind of see like a twinkle in his eye. And that kind of brought me back to uh, Spokane. Oh. Spokane was turbulent, but ultimately it was very fun. Dude, w even some of the Washougal days. like Oh, the Washougal. Dude, four locals on the like, roof and my shit. My job was to be like, hey, Holy who's, fuck. who wants to smoke weed in the freezer and then chug <laughs> beer at night? <laughs> uh, I'm 18. What the? What, what else did you I was we just going to bang in the freezer. Can you believe we used to not get paid to drink Four Locos? Can you believe in the that freezer? restaurant was ran by 17 year olds? Dude, I tell people like if you ever Nuts. ate, if you ever ate at Jack in the Box in Washougal, Washington between the years of like 2008 and 2010. No, we never. I never fucked with food or anything. No, it was just I was just really high the whole time. I was never high because oh. me stone oh. is a. Uh, it's fun. It's mm, for, for some me. of us. For some of us. I don't know. It's pretty fun for me. It's pretty different. It's different. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a vitamin R guy. Get my vitamins. Yeah. Um, Fucking, what were we getting out here, though? Well, I was just trying to get back to, like, the, 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 the pace in the course of the movie a little bit. Like, they do that banquet. We learned that Riley sells right. exorbitant government dope somehow. Yeah. I don't like his character, <laughs> FYI. <clears throat> um, we, we learn about another... Uh, competitive realtor who's like what, the king or something like that it's been anyway, it's peter gallagher and if you don't know who peter gallagher is he's uh sandy cohen from the oc i don't yeah. know if that's gonna make it any better for you and let me tell you real quick his eyebrows in this 
you do a double if you, take. If you've seen Mr. Deeds, he, he's a... Uh, He's the head honcho trying to take all Deeds' uh, assets. Uh, yeah, he's got the big old bush dicks. They're great. We got it. Is there a way for us to put pictures on this? Like, I'll in, do it in, in post. Uh, hopefully. Because if you can get a shot yeah, of those I'll, I'll, I'll get a picture of Pete there. If you can't, I'll go find a caterpillar outside and curl it up and then just show it. And then you can get an <laughs> idea of what Peter Gallagher's eyebrows look like in this picture. I'll get it there. Um, he was he was fun, too. I really enjoyed Peter Gallagher in this. He was he was a fun little plus one. Real fun little plus one yeah. there. Does a real good job oh, of just, just being there. And oh, dude, their sex <laughs> scene, dude, <laughs> is fucking killer. Fuck me, your majesty. Fuck me, your majesty. So she's... So the wife and... The, do you know her name by any chance? We'll call her Diana. So it's not. <laughs> so not Diana and Kevin Spacey are in a loveless marriage, right? I think we've already covered that, where they don't like each other. That's apparent. And uh, you know, he's just like, you've lost all your joy and sense of life, and you get worked up about stupid shit. And she's like, well, you're just like throwing your tits to the wind and don't give a fuck anymore. Like we still got a life and shit here. <laughs> Be a shit. Uh, anyway, so she ends up with some infidelity. She fucks the. Realtor. His name is. I, I, I want to say a Buddy Knight. It's like Bud King or Buddy Knight. My Bud Knight. We're bad at notes. Fuck. This is the like, deal. This. We're just a couple of guys. I watched that this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did have some good notes. I just forgot them. Yeah. You forgot them last time too. Well, we were actually last time we didn't think we were going to record. Well, uh, the next movie is going to be so that's fun. That's movie. We'll I get think, to I'll, it. We'll get to it. Oh my God. Um. So yeah, Peter Gallagher, great. He fucks like a king. Dude, fucks Dude, like a king. Dude, that sex scene was crazy too. Dude. Her legs are all wowie wow. Peter Gallagher, and I know they're acting, but... Oh yeah, I'd like dude. to see his dick in one of those acting socks. Dude, dude's got pumps for He's sure. He's got pumps and grunts. If, if, if Frank really wanted to explore great gay sex, then uh, I think Peter Gallagher would have been the go-to. But that's neither here nor there, because that didn't happen. Oh dude, do you want to talk about... So the scene where, uh, so Lester, Kevin Space, has like fallen in uh, infatuation with Angela. Angela is the. So after I actually liked that scene where they're where they're cheerleading, but why the fuck is uh, Janie a cheerleader like that? And I thought that scene was like, it was perfect. It's almost like they gave her like a day of practice, like in shooting, right? To to learn those steps. They, they <clears> probably because did. She, she like fucked up just enough. To believe that, like, she wanted to do it. Sure. But she didn't really want to do sure. it. But her friend's really hot, so we're doing it to still be friends. Right. I thought that was, like, really cool. But then you see Kevin Space get all fucking sweaty and just rock hard. Dude. And it's like, yeah! What are we doing here? Yeah, that's kind of that kind of kicks off the whole romance aspect of this fucking movie. Yeah. After Peter Gallagher and not Diane pound tough for a minute. And but, not Diane, yes. Uh, Carol? Is her name Carol? I don't remember, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't, I gotta, I don't remember neither. I'm going to take good her notes. Yeah. Um, this is Kevin Spacey's first sees uh, Mira, Mina. Angela. In the movie. Angela. Yeah. The real life name is Mira. Yeah. We suck we with are names. Bad. I'm so bad. What's the name of the show? Uh, uh, Kevin Spacey fan <laughs> club. We've Shit. talked, we've talked about <laughs> I got out of that thing years ago. <laughs> yeah, the premium was oh. Um, but uh, yeah, so no, yeah, it's interesting. He sees that's where he has that that uh, picture that you saw on the poster as a kid. That's yeah, that's yeah, that yeah. shot where he's well, not zones... quite actually. Oh no. Uh, but yeah, the the roses come into play. Oh right, the roses. Okay. The roses are everywhere. I mean, they're they're so apparent that it almost takes away from them. Because I think that what they're trying to convey with the roses is that uh, it's it's like superficial beauty. Like whenever you see a rose, it's like someone is trying to fake like a lovely experience. Like in the beginning, fucking uh, Carol, whatever the fuck her name is, uh, Kevin Spacey's wife in, in the movie film here. Not Diane. She's like not Diane, correct? She's like picking one and giving one to the neighbor. Oh. Which like, okay, well that doesn't. I guess that's like just putting on airs. Sure. Is essentially, what you're trying to sure. do there. But whenever I keep know. doing this, sorry, folks. Um, what was I getting out here? The roses and flowers and the right. meanings. So every other time you see roses, it's kind of when uh, <laughs> case faces dick just full of freaking petals. If you catch my drift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. So, eh, it's, yeah. It's, it's a metaphor, but it's kind of just shoved right down your wreath. It's not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's not, it's not like, it's not like good. 
I'll say this once. I'll say it probably a lot in this show. I couldn't do this. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't make a movie this caliber. I can barely make a podcast remembering names of people in the movie. So, uh, I don't want to shit on us. Ultimately, ultimately I, did, I did like this movie. I just don't think it was worth 40 fucking awards. Good. Okay. So, um, what time are we at, by the way? Oh, uh, we uh, Holy shit. 30 minutes? Wow. Damn. Damn. <laughs> okay. I love you. We can just talk about anything. Yeah. We haven't even got to like the crux of the fucking No, film. we haven't even started to, man, we even got that past that surface. We level. have jumped around. We do jump around. <laughs> we, we do jump, jump around. We're doing, we're doing, we're, 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 we're doing good or now. Yeah. We're doing good or now. So, okay. Angela, Janie, who is Kevin Spacey's daughter in the film, yeah. they have slumber parties and they meet and instantly Angela is also like, yo, I would fuck your dad. And. Oh, that's what we were getting at. I wanna, right? Okay. So we, we, this is. Because I feel like our, our takes and ideas and thoughts on A River Runs Through It were just eye-to-eye -eye on basically yeah. everything. Yeah. I mean, not a lot of parody and opinions on that. Here, I think... it was kind of dog shit. Bomb. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> we're still learning. Um, learning, learning, learning. Okay, so... We talked a little bit about the acting. Yeah. Um, and for the record, I don't think... Tim or I know anything about, like, actually traditionally, like, what good acting would look like. But if you notice bad acting, like, I don't think we're, like, hoity-toity enough to be like, oh, that wasn't acted very well. No, that, well, that's kind of the point of this. Right, 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 right. But we, we talked a little bit about, like, who we thought was good acting and what we thought was bad acting yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I, so, I think when I said, because I thought, I thought Kevin Spacey, um, piece of shit, now, I thought... 99 Spacey's performance in this was fucking great. Ah. I could, without, I haven't seen the other films that were nominated, obviously, but I thought, oh fuck, we should have Googled that. What was it running against? We should start looking at it. Look, pop it up. 99, The Matrix? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Oh! Rainier down, folks. It's okay. We're in the garage. Doesn't matter. Whoa, there must be a bunch of oil on this. That is gross. Sorry. Anyway, uh, so yeah, probably The Matrix. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, I thought I thought Kevin Spacey did, did a good job of portraying to me that he was like a fed up <laughs> suburban dad who has given up. And I think okay, but like the other acting in this, I thought was really really bad. So maybe that's why I thought Kevin Spacey's was better because like I thought I didn't think he sucked ass. Like dude, the, uh, I didn't uh, think he sucked ass. I just thought it was like I don't know for an award winning film, an award winning film. I don't know. He just, he didn't give me enough. He was sure, just like, sure. boo, boo. Yeah. And the boo is fucking sarcasm, which he's like a sarcastic fucking asshole all the time. He did sure. this stupid fucking voice. I think what happened, and I'm speculating here, is this was his fucking life. Right. Like, I think that's what's going on. This was Lester's life. It was Lester's life. It should have been called Lester's life. So, I guess, I mean, and look, this is, this is the fun thing about movies because, like, you can have that opinion that you thought right. it was like where to me like his his acting in my opinion everyone's got an opinion and we're all assholes i will say i was at least like beyond where like a river runs through it we were just like everything was boring we thought brad pitt was like mildly charming this but handsome as all oh, hell. God, real handsome if him and peter gallagher ever wanted to hang out dude dude i would love to hang with peter gallagher go do mcgonagall <laughs> brad pitt would his penis would be a river running through that oh, oh. i would run through his river any day so there's a couple of scenes okay so like speaking of acting which again i don't know like what is really great acting or not yeah daniel day lewis man you know i don't know you're Sounds trying like a little hard sometimes yeah. uh fucking the, any scene with riley the son of the military guy was just like pulling hair out for him I'm like he's trying so and i get that his character is an edgy emotional probably has some fucking abuse issues teenager but fuck man yeah just brutal to get through. And so there's a scene that I'm thinking of when, like, it just a trigger went off in my head of, like, I think that was bad acting, what I just witnessed. They slam the door. It's when Angela, who's made it clear that she wants to bang Kevin Spacey, who yeah. is Janie's dad, she slams the door, and the daughter, Janie, goes, Don't fuck my dad! <laughs> Please don't fuck my dad! Like, oh, my like, God. Uh, it's like, he's a lame I, I know we're talking about 99, but like please don't fuck my dad like that's not how that conversation would go. and that would like never never come up really like you would joke about something like that but not actually try to fuck your friend's dad especially like as a because she was in 17 magazine according to the movie like you're not trying to fuck your friend's dad oh 
there's an also another scene right before he like almost fucks her. I'm listening. I'm just uh, trying to look up the Oscars. Good. She's like, oh, oh, oh. He's uh, Kevin Space says to Angela, oh, you like muscles, and it's like this oh, zoomed God. in fucking sweaty oh, tricep, oh. and she's like caressing it with her fingers. Like that's so icky. That's the icky shit yeah. I've ever fucking seen. Yeah. And that like, whole oh uh, greasy. Oh, but what I was gonna get you before. Sorry guys, this is not chronological at all. But when, uh, when, uh, fuck, what's her name now? Daughter. Janie. Janie. When, when Janie's, Janie's in the shower, shower and is right, right after the, uh, the cheerleading, <clears throat> he, like, grabs the phone and goes through her phone book and then finds Angela's phone number and, like, calls her. Why? Like, what are you going to gain from that? Dude. Like, I know I star fucking, 69 did. You're fucking horned up, dog, but, like. Dude, she was fucking. I was about to start sixty nine. That brought back some man. That hit hard. Yeah, hard. So uh, this is really confusing because I literally just went to the Oscars website and in nineteen ninety nine, uh, American Beauty is not even listed on here. So did it was it like, what? Well, did it like come out at the end and it's in two thousand? It's possible because it's not here anywhere on nineteen ninety nine. Two thousand. Two, so okay, so it was part of the two thousand. Okay. Where K. Spacey won Best Actor. Yeah. Wow. I wouldn't have guessed that. I didn't, I didn't think it was. Uh, best Supporting Actor, well, I think, was Riley. Which, yeah. What? What is it not? I'm about to find out. So yeah, guys, this was this was a uh, it was fun. Uh, so, so fucking, I guess, I guess we're, we're getting, getting towards, towards the end here. here. Yeah. The, the crux, yeah, the, the whole thing at this point is Kevin Spacey doesn't give a fuck anymore. The wife doesn't really give a fuck anymore. She's, no. remember that kind of awkward where, like, she gets a new haircut and a dress and then comes in and then he didn't he even gets, notice the haircut. Oh. Oh, because he's like, what did you change? You never noticed the haircut, This yeah. fucking God. scene. He, Kevin, Kevin Spacey in this is, is such a little fucking crybaby bitch. bitch. So he's trying to find to fuck his wife. The wife won Best Actress in a Leading Role. Okay. Well, or no, no, nominated, nominated, okay. nominated. All right, she's nominated. Apologies. So, so fucking, uh, damn. yeah, they're, they're trying to bang on the couch, couch and there's like a, a there's a rekindling in in uh, in, in case Space's boner for his wife. wife. Neat. And, and then he's like, <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's got a beer like on their four thousand dollar couch. Yeah. And uh, she's, she's kind of getting hot and heavy with it, you know. And uh, she's like, oh, honey, don't uh, don't spill the beer. On the couch. Right. And, and then, then he, he has, has a fucking tantrum. Throws a cow. Dude, put, put the beer down and bang, bang your wife. wife. Like, like, this, this isn't, isn't like an interstellar fucking, like, moment. Anybody else with a rock hard dick, dick in that situation puts, puts the fucking beer down. Well, it's and interesting. Bangs wife. I agree. And it's interesting because he's, bi like, half of his bitching about is that they're in, like, a sexless, passionless marriage. Which and then, like, because he already banged the fucking majesty. Oh, the majesty. Nobody's saying no to him, though. No, those fucking eyebrows, dude. But, no, that's... It's one come off. Come off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Night to the pound table, dude. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> wow, we're really good at yeah, funny. gay commentary in movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, right. So you're going to bitch the whole movie about, like, a loveless, sexless marriage, and then she's like... Hey, can you put the beer down so it doesn't spill on the couch? The fuck did you just say to me? It's a couch. It's a fucking couch. Yeah, my car is $4,000. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's a lot of money. Yeah, um, yeah that was wild, too. Um, where are we at? Oh, are you guys are attracted to everyone? Yeah, <laughs> that's where I found it. Uh, Question mark? I also, uh, when, 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 uh, when, uh, when old Les, when, when, when old K-Space space is about to get weird with Angela, yeah. it, it really fucking bothered me, because the roses show up again, uh, the, it was super off-center. I'm not a perfectionist at all, but I'm talking like, so, let's say me and Chase are gonna make out, and this is the center, like, the roses are like here. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh, he bugged, bugged the shit out of me! Bugged you? Square, that's right up, dude! dude. Oh, oh it bugged me so, so fucking bad. bad. Okay, okay so, so as we're coming into... Oh, wait, oh. he fucking, like... Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting a little excited, excited here. Like, it's, it's already fucking, like, gross and rapey, and, and like, an old guy just, like, like manifesting you to his dick, and, and he's like, do you want some beer? Like, ugh! You wanna get like, drunk and fucking it? So I made a note. Yikes! I made a note of the beer sip also, because I feel like they try and make it intentional that, like, she doesn't know how to drink a beer, and she's never done it before, because she kind of, like... Oh, and it spills out a little bit. I'm like, oh my, come on! What are we doing here? So with this movie also, I thought that um, Angela, because this, this is this is hot water for this movie, and I'm surprised that like you can still rent it. 
Uh, but I thought I, I read some things that there was like underage nudity in this. And, and I, I was looking at, actually, actually, I'm pretty sure I'm probably flagged, flagged from the government, government now, because I was like, underage boobs. <laughs> yeah, you have been, though, for a while. Well. You have been. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're <laughs> in the database. I thought it was, uh, I thought I thought it was Angela's role that, that showed underage, bo- okay. underage boobs. But not a dog. It's fucking the daughter. She just turned 17 when they started filming this. Full fucking tits trout dude yeah you, uh, you see a, a few pair of boobies in this one not cool and unnecessary they don't show the yeah the part especially the part with uh angela like laying on the couch yeah as we're coming into the landing here a little bit yeah. so let me try and real quick so, so where we're at in the movie here is there's they're having another sleepover at this point in the movie the weird neighbor who's always taking fucking creepy videos Frank, of, of riley's dad um but Riley's the oh, one taking Riley's the videos. The about. Uh, always taking videos of um, Janie. Janie's the daughter of Kevin Spacey. She kind of like likes it a little bit, likes the attention. They began dating in this weird artsy fartsy, like we're above everybody because yeah, we're different and that's cool and whatever. I just I couldn't stand the Riley guy. But you want to get to the bag scene? We're kind of skipping over that. We've, we're skipping over a lot. I know we're skipping over a lot. I need better notes. Uh, I need to read my own handwriting. I'm really. Just... I got a fucking four pages of notes here, guys. I, they're not doing. A shit for me. I'm really just spitballing. You know what would be fun is if people would watch the movie and then comment about it, and then we could then have the conversation from there with my notebook. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm curious. I want to hear what other people think about the, the acting comment that you didn't like it. I like it. I think it. space is stale. I think he's so stale. You want a good fucking... word for it, though. I think he's just fucking flat. No! No, not my fucking <laughs> Sorry. Oh, good. That one wasn't open. <laughs> no, that's cool. Uh, fuck, what was I going to say here? Sorry. Oh, dude, the, 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 the Frank kisses Lester. Lester. Yeah. Oh, he he doesn't lead him on. Real. Cause, uh, so basically, Frank is Riley's dad, who was neighbor boy, who was weird fucking dude with the camcorder. And they see, uh, uh, Frank sees uh, Riley uh, rolling a joint for Lester. Sorry, that was probably a lot. <clears throat> but, but from, from the, the window, window next door, door it looks like he's giving him a fat blower. Yeah. <laughs> it looks supreme hot. And then uh, he comes home, he being Riley, and his dad beats the fucking piss out of him. Beats him up real good. And that's where we talked about earlier. This is this is beating number three. That uh, he just is like, well, fuck you, I'm gay. Sure. Yeah, I am gay, yeah. yeah. I got the nice assassin in the tri-state. And then Frank is like, well... We have a gaber. <laughs> Maybe I should go over there and see what that spacey cock is all about. And, uh, yeah, Kevin Spacey just kind of leads him on. He's like, oh, you're soaking wet. Why don't you come in? Oh, you're so drenched. And, uh, yeah. So then this movie kind of becomes a whodunit. For a minute there, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. there's kind of three stages. It's like, fuck my life. Fuck my wife, and now it's pretty cool. And then who the fuck killed me? Yeah, there's at one point. I think there's there's two for sure that you're thinking, and maybe one where you're like, is he going crazy enough to where like he might kill himself? Yeah. Is his wife gonna shoot him? Is is the neighbor? Gonna, which they're they're trying to make you think the whole time that it's the wife. Yeah. That didn't fool me. I thought it was. Yeah. I I thought that he was gonna do something. The daughter was gonna do something, or the neighbor well, the, was gonna. The do daughter something. also asked Riley, like, like it's, it's like a it's like a six minute scene. Uh, like, like would you kill my dad for me? Like, if I, I got, like, $3,000 from whatever the fuck. And yeah. he's like, yeah, I'll do it. He's, like, naked. It's very odd. Yeah, he's that whole relationship is so... They're just trying to be so edgy and yeah. different. It feels really oscar You know what I mean when I say that? Like, it feels um, like we're trying to win awards. I don't know. And I don't, I don't like that. Well, to be honest, I don't even know, though, that I can say that because when you told me that it won five things, I was blown away. I would not have guessed this to be, like, a... It's a fine movie, but it's, n- it's not amazing. So... At the end of the movie here, we're, we're coming into uh, Angela and Janie have, like, confronted each other, gotten into a fight because, like, Angela makes a bunch of weird comments about wanting to fuck her dad. You want to talk about this shit? The, uh, they basically tell her to leave because, like, we both hate you. And then she doesn't and tries to fuck her dad. <laughs> like, what yeah. kind of world is this? Yeah, so, and then, so, at this point, the, the, the Riley had just been beaten up by his dad. He's going to move to New York. He's decided he wants to take Janie with him. Right. He says, hey, if I... Never go. Uh, yeah, right. It doesn't they look just, like they ever they do. They go to bed. They go to a different room. They go to a room while, and they go to bed. While and then, her friends try to pork her dad down. And below. then what happens? So, uh, so, yeah. So then Angela goes downstairs. She's all... How- 
pouty because like they got into a fight and like so she's unhappy. Kevin Spacey's like, now's the fucking time. Here we go. Let's get into it. I'm gonna bang this minor. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going for it now. And so they go downstairs. Uh, that's where they have this really awkward like. Do you want a sip of beer? Yeah. And she does, and it's awkward. And they lay down on the couch right before. And so now she's on the couch. Um, boobs are out. M- more nudity. Um, yeah, she's 19. Oh, then great. So great tits out. And then... Um, um, Can we pause for a second? Papa's got to pee. Sure. All right, hold on. Damn, I was about to... Oh, hell, frick. Yeah, there is a great set of titties. Okay. Sorry, I had to pee. Um, um, so where, where, where we're at there is... Okay, so they're on the couch. Um... She has her top off. This is Angela, Janie's friend, who's like wants to fuck Kevin Spacey really badly. Kevin Spacey's into it too. The blonde for the lamin. The blonde, and she drops the hammer on him. That um, hey, just so you know, I'm a virgin. And mind you, the whole movie. While she's... her tits are out, and he's about to slay that salmon. <laughs> so, um, and mind you, the whole movie, all she does is talk about how much cock she slays. Like, um, a proof for all audiences. We use all sorts of <laughs> safe language. <laughs> Um, but rooster <laughs> all she does is talk about she, there's a scene in the car where she's like I tell you about every guy I've ever fucked that's true what the fuck I never, I never put that together so yeah. I think the big thing there is that she's incredibly insecure and like needs yeah. to use the idea that people want to fuck her as like some way to yeah, feel she's been in 17 magazine feel good about herself yeah right so <laughs> you also after that like Kevin Spacey kind of like buttons her back up and he's like oh so weird. sweetie so weird he and he wraps her up like, in a blanket yeah and like makes her a burrito and she's like oh I'm like full I was like do you want another one still a little can I make you another burrito it's like well I still feel a little awkward I still no feel a little weird shit. oh what are we talking about here so then what happens that cheese so while this is all going on this is at the house um the wife is like sitting in a car in the rain listening to some motivational fucking tape about how like to take your life back and like don't let anybody boss you around and she's got and then she pulled out a beretta uh she's got a fucking glock in the car so you're (laughs) she did okay that's oh i caught you in the shower um your hair is yellow so they're, they're setting you up that like she's gonna come in with a gun and this then is where it gets him. really whodunity. The, yeah, and this is after the neighbor comes over where his son, he thinks, is gay. is Frank. Frank. No Frank's crying. Man. Very strict, stern guy. He tries to get down with Kevin Spacey. And Kevin Spacey um, says no to a, a man for the first time in his life. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and so he's a little old and 14. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. That's fair. But no, you're supposed to feel, like, bad that... Uh, or, or I, I guess, guess you're supposed to feel good, good that Kevin Spacey, Spacey is like, oh, well, I can't take her fucking V, dude. Like, yeah, dude, his switch to being like, oh, like he's like this proletariat. Like, like she was 16 regardless, but now that she hasn't, like, fuck you, dude. If she slammed Cox, like, then yeah, sure. <laughs> My high school coach touched me once. All right, let's get in the back. Yeah, like, wait, what the okay. fuck? Yeah, dude, that was so bad. The, like, wrapping her up in the blanket is just like, dude, you're, like, yeah. helping a so child right now. This she, is giving, she, like, my tummy hurt. Does she leave? I kind of forget where the fuck they go. No, she's in the bathroom, like, oh, getting ready to leave when she hears the yeah. guy. So then you see a gun come into frame. And he's, like, looking at a picture of, of his family. family. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, now. Oh, who wrote that? Uh, real quick while he's looking at a picture of his family, remember when, it, when Janie comes in and like nags him for a half a second and he goes, hey, you better knock that off or you're going to turn into a bitch like your mom. Yeah. <laughs> I lost and then he's my like, shit. Oh, God damn it. Oh, maybe maybe I, I should uh, talk to her about that one. That was mean. Dude, that got me good. You'll turn into a bitch like your mom. Uh, I didn't like mom though. I thought mom was, I thought she was pretty decent uh, as far as acting went. Okay. She had more range. Okay. More this range? Is, oh, dude, are you fucking kidding? kidding? More range? More fucking, fucking range. range. What? Oh, okay. Okay, let's hear it. Get into it. Well, because one of my guys won Best Actor that year. Oh, well, he's a guy. <laughs> oh, well, this is 99. There was also a Best Actress that year. They're all called actors now, Chase? Who do you think it was? Best Actress? Judy Dench for Chocolat. Oh, the dame. I actually have no idea. Oh, we tried to put that on the other night, and I fucking fell asleep. Oh! 1999, actress in a leading role was Hilary Swank. Oh, uh, the Swankster. Angelina Jolie was supporting actress. Pretty good. But your 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 gal did get a nomination. So Pretty good. I'll take, I'll take a nom. 
Put him on there. Anyway, you were saying good gun comes into frame. So gun comes into frame, and then it's like, uh, do you like the, the ending? The ending is like almost a like a different movie. Like the tone feels way different. It's just narration right. of uh, Kevin Spacey Wester uh, telling you like. When life flashes before your eyes, this is what you see, and this is how you feel. Right. And essentially, he's like, I'm in heaven. Like, would you like to be up here? Right. Roll fucking credits. Roll credits. Fuck you, you piece of baby raping shit. Well, the, so the gun blast goes off, and then it shows a, a shot of everybody who heard the shot. So, like, the wife is actually coming into the house. Here's the gunshot. Angela, the virgin. But mind you, wife has a gun. Like, like, she's, she's ready, ready to do that deed. The intent is she's coming in to Glock him. Yeah. 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 Because she wants to fuck his majesty right. all the time. Right. Um, Ow! So then, anyway, it shows... It shows... <laughs> you right? Uh, yeah. I think, uh, if I see a nosebleed... Sorry, folks. Ow. Mm, that does feel wet. Guys, we might need Wait to take on. a 10 here. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> the, so, anyway, it shows everybody. It ends up being the reveal that Frank, the military stern neighbor, yeah. uh, Riley's dad... Chugs cock. <laughs> well... Wants to. Don't think he probably ever got the, got the chip. Never got the chip. He will where he's going, brother. Uh, he'll get the best at doing that where he's going. Um, and uh, anyway, so uh, it turns out it's him, and he's yeah. crying, filled with blood. He shot him. Yeah, the, the ending was not Oscary. Usually, Oscary. Yeah. Well, like usually it's like uh, you're you're left on kind of a cliff, and you got to kind of make it up yourself. You know. You have to kind of plug in the empty spaces. Some room for interpretation. Perfect. It's a perfect way to say it. Fuck. Sorry, guys. This is all over the place. Um, We're doing better. As far as the camera angles. Oh, you're doing great. I'm trying to uh, make it not look like a dog's dick. You're doing great. But. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, my old cold bones. <laughs> what are we saying here? Okay. We're getting into the ending a little bit. And then, yeah, so um, the, the voiceover is dog shit. Like, it really feels like it was Colonel Mustard in the basement, and now I'm dead and telling you about it. Which is like, in the beginning, I, I can't believe I'd ever caught this the first time. You, you should already know he's dead. Right. So you say it right at yeah, the beginning. Yeah, he says it, like, it's the first, like, it's, the, it's like a fifth word he says. Yeah. Dead. Like, huh. I don't know. Do you want to get into, into ratings? Uh, what, what do you give this bitch? Yes. Yeah. You have more to add? No, that's pretty much it. I do agree that the narration at the end is kind of like... You left eh. out a lot. <laughs> watch it for yourself. Yeah, you got to watch it too. I mean, I don't Hopefully think, you're watching along with us. I doubt anybody's just coming in in 2022 and well, about to be 2022 and be like, oh, I wonder what... Did I ever... If you've never seen American Beauty, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Are these two handsome motherfuckers talking about for 50 minutes? What up? Um, no, so... Uh, yeah, ratings for me fuck. is... Um, <laughs> Damn it. There you go. Uh, rating for me would be, I'd give it five cheesels. Five, five cheesels out of ten, yeah. Uh, I think overall what I liked is that there was some level of, like, stuff was going on and pieces were moving. And whether I always liked the acting or didn't always like the acting or thought the dialogue was a little cheesy or thought some of the um, interactions with the characters was a little bit cheesy, there was always this kind of, like, well, is he going to fuck her? Yeah. Well, who's how's he going to die? So there was this something that kept me, like, interested. You know, I keep comparing it to A River Runs Through It just because that's the only other one we've done. Where, like... I feel like I knew 10 minutes into that movie, the rest of the movie right away. This one was like, okay, well, some some shit could happen. I'm, I'm a little bit entertained with that. I, um, in terms of the acting, I enjoyed Kevin's performance enough to, like, you know, it didn't, it wasn't, like, ruining the movie for me by any means. Uh, I wouldn't say it ruined the movie for me. Uh, there's there's parts of it I liked. Yeah, uh, no, I, I don't think it ruined it for you. I'm just, like, yeah. So, I didn't cry. Yeah, oh, no, I definitely didn't cry. No cries. Uh... But it just was, it, there just wasn't enough, um, it just, I, I don't An know. An award winner. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy to me. I'm going to, while you're, while you're giving your ratings and rankings, I've been trying to so, do this like a half hour. To find I'm going to, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a solid six T-bones. Uh, six T-bones. Yeah, man. I thought, I mean, it was fine. I think it's fine. I, it's, it's a movie I'd recommend. I think it. I think it's. It's definitely rewatchable. Well, because a, I, I rewatched it, <laughs> and I recommended this movie for the pod. I do think it is rewatchable. Yeah, I think it's. It's. It's a fun movie, and it's kind of whodunity, but uh, should it, you uh, jump what? right into it too? Oh like, yeah, the movie doesn't have you a big get, wall. You you're just right, right into in. It. I think the pacing is great. I'm. Ne you're never really bored. What do you look up there, cheese? I'm trying to find all the the movie nominees for best picture. But I see. 
So that that was in the 2000 category then? It's in the 2000 category. Okay. Yeah. Huh, I saw 99. It did, it does say 99. So I don't know why. It must if it comes out at the end of 99 there must be some cutoff. I'm not an Oscar guy. Cuz the Oscars don't come out at the end of the year, so it must roll you're, over. You're a bit of an Oscar guy. Yeah, uh, I like to I like to make popcorn dress up nice and then black out about it. Oh, um, dude, we should we should wear suits for the Oscars. Yeah, on on the show here. <laughs> yeah, on the show. On the show here. On the old show. So we got it we got it 6 uh I can't find. Did you it. say six two? No, I got. I said five. Okay. We got. We got a six for me. A five for me. Yeah. I think we're we're still pretty even with. Uh, we thought some of the acting was shitty. Some of it was okay. Still entertaining enough to, no, to go back and it's watch a fine it. Film, but um, it, it shouldn't have won all the things that it won. Yeah. I who, wish... who did we say it went up against? You said the Matrix. I'm trying to find. Why would best? Oh, okay. All right. So the 2000 Best Picture nominees were <laughs> American Beauty. <laughs> The Cider House Rules. Never heard of it. The Green Mile didn't win? Oh, wow. The Green Mile. The Insider and The Sixth Sense. Fuck. I'm surprised The Green Mile didn't win. Green Mile. Green Mile is good. It's pretty good. You know what I hate about The Green Mile, though? What's that? All the memes of the, I'm tired, boss. Yeah. From all your Republican shitty parents. (laughs) You know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm probably talking about. It's terrible. Yeah, I'm really surprised that one best picture over some of those other. Yeah. Uh. Anything taboo like that seems to get, like, a nod from the Academy. See, and that's funny because I don't even see, like, what's so edgy or taboo about it. Well, like, because we're talking about and, and homosexuality. fucking kid that we never actually fuck. So it's kind of just a cock tease for Okay, that part, yeah, that's a good point. That part's pretty... Yeah. I mean, oh, Kevin really, Spacey. I did mention you, you, there are underage tits in this, which is fucked. I brought that up, didn't I? Those ones are fucked. That is fucking crazy. But there was also 19-year-old tits? Yes. Those ones are great. But the other ones are fucked. No, you're right. They're fucked. That's fucked. It's fucking... It's insane, man. It's insane that that, uh, that YouTube will allow you to... Re- That's how I watched it. Yeah, I'm sure there's something, though, with, like, when you're in a movie and you sign a contract and you're like... I mean, I, I agree. It's, it's weird, but I'm sure it's like... Well, Tim, if you were 17 and you showed, one, you know, your balls, like, and you're going to get paid a lot of money to I be in this balls movie... balls are different. Balls aren't sexy. Balls are hilarious. Like, regardless, it's like... Nobody jerks off to balls. Kevin Spacey does. <laughs> <laughs> Full start? No, you're right. I agree. I'm just... I'm sure there's something in, right, like, the movie yeah. industry where when it's hard that it's different, but... Yeah. Hey, let's let's talk a little bit about our, our schedule coming up and then how, okay. we, how we'd like to maybe get the audience involved a little bit on helping us find a, a flick. I know some people have mentioned... I know Jeremy out there. Hey, Jeremy! Jeremy! Boom! Fuck. Sorry, guys. J Dog. Uh, Jeremy mentioned, um, what was it? The seventh. Was seven, it? I thought it was seven. seven. It is seven. Seven pounds. Oh, I don't know about. Oh, is that fucking. Yes. It's okay. We don't have to do it right away. Uh, we'll do it. Jeremy, we'll get to it. It's okay, buddy. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. That's fucking old What's His Bones. Uh, Will Smith. Will yeah? Smith, isn't yeah. it? Okay. Well, save not it for a, the review of not seven a pounds. This guy, a blacksmith. All right. <laughs> 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 um so so anyway i so, so there's been also some re- requests to do damn it um, there it is a little bit more current stuff so yeah it really doesn't matter we kind of just chose tim had a good reason for choosing this one i chose a river runs through it because i'm a fucking idiot um, oh no, it was fine no it wasn't but uh, i mean it was it was easier to take notes on i thought because i fucking hated it was it. really easy to take notes <laughs> yeah, on yeah. there wasn't a lot to know but this was like this was harder. Right, seriously, like three, four and a half fucking pages of bullshit here. Guys, I also took and notes. I've, I've barely read them. I also took uh, notes. Yeah. I have notes at home. I just fucking forgot them. <laughs> uh, Damn it! You... I need to redo these hotkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Tim talked about doing a, uh, picking a category for a month where we only do westerns or sci-fi. So it'd be, just be cool to see what other yeah, people yeah. would like to like if we do current stuff. Let me reiterate that. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I was I was thinking because it's harder than you think to uh damn it <laughs> to, pick, <laughs> to pick a movie uh just like out of your dick it's kind of it's kind of hard my zipper's been down this whole time oh yeah <sighs> sorry uh <laughs> xyz that took too long <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we're thinking like themed months but i don't know i don't know if that's cool like okay so february we do like chick flicks or, or romantic comedies whatever you want to call it and like uh, december we do uh our favorite holiday f- films Blah, 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 so on and so forth. Or we could do, uh, if you drop them in the comments, and we, we, we would get 10 of them. I don't know. However many we see in the comments, we put those bitches in a hat. And, uh, yeah, we pick one of those. I mean, we, we'll, we'll post it on Instagram, Facebook, whatever the hell. 
And then, and we, we hey, pick, we pick one and watch one. What if they're in the know. area? What if they're a movie and they're local? They're one of our buddies nearby. Yeah. And then we pick your movie, and then maybe you can get a little special guest spot one of these days, huh? That sounds fun, but I literally don't have enough ports in my computer to do one more. It's, it's just, down, it's just, I'm just trying to get the crowd excited. <laughs> yeah. It's like we could do a zoomer. We could do a zoom in. We could do a zoomer. We could do a little zoomer. I was doing, the, I was doing the Flint, Michigan tropics. Like if you hit this oh, half court shot, you get ten thousand yeah. dollars, but we really don't have ten thousand dollars. <laughs> We gotta get some more comedies. In if your too. comment's really good, you'll win a car. Do you still have so, that car that you need to get rid of? <laughs> I got a couple of cars that I'd get rid of. Anyway, so but I guess that's that's the end. Uh, five out of ten, six out of ten, everything's the end. I'm gonna try the tagline real quick. Sorry. Hey, everybody likes movies, but not everybody likes the same movie, and that's approved for all audiences. Oh no, I fucked it up. Let me try it one more time. Right, here he goes. You don't like the show? <laughs> that was probably really loud. Sorry. But uh, hopefully I'm smart enough to put the email address uh, in in the frame here. Uh, it's a proof for all audiences pod at gmail.com. Go ahead and uh, if you want to tell us to go fuck ourselves or if you like it, maybe uh, send us some of that. If you have uh, tips or hints on how this could look and or sound better, that would be Mooches or Preach. If you want to follow us on Instagram for some fucking reason, at Tim Benteen, at Chase Newport. I don't know. All right. I don't know. Uh, you're really not going to see anything about movies online. It's mostly motorcycles and dick pics. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, this has been approved for all audiences. We'll catch, catch you next time. We'll catch you all next time, guys. Take it easy.